Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I'm going to do my son Denny's 8 month update. He is getting really big, feels a lot heavier, and his leg rolls are just really going strong. I think they're the most adorable thing ever. I actually forgot to weigh him before this update, but I will put on the screen what he weighs so you guys can know. I'm curious too because it actually has been a while since we weighed him and he's seeming very large so I'm curious to see what he weighs as well. He has about 10 teeth now which I'm not totally positive about because it's really hard to see in his mouth because he's like always teething. He has so many teeth for his age so I'm not even totally sure but I got some glimpses in there and it looks like there's 10. Most of them are on the top. There's like eight on the top and two on the bottom. It's a little bit lopsided but he has so many teeth. It's just crazy. I mean, he got his first tooth at like three months. It was ridiculous. He is pretty much sleep trained now. He's been doing so good. It's been so easy. We can just lay him down when it's time to go to bed. I wrap him up in his swaddle that goes underneath his arms so his arms are out. And I put his binky in, I give him his stuffed animal, and I turn the light off and leave, and he falls asleep by himself. Every single time. For every bedtime, every nap, it is just so so nice to have him sleep right now. Last night he was in a mood. It was really weird because normally he'll wake up, I'll go over and put his binky in and that is what he wants. He'll go right back to sleep. He'll, it'll make him feel better. But last night he was very grumpy because I would go try to put his binky back and he would like start flinging his arms around like all over the place. He was trying to block me and he was like mad that I was trying to put his binky back. It was so weird. He was like just flinging around. I thought it was like a little bit funny, a little bit strange, but as soon as I would get the binky in, he would like stop. He was so happy. He would like fall right back asleep. So I don't know what the deal was with that, but apparently he was just in a mood last night. It seems like lately he hasn't been feeling super well. He's been kind of fussy, fussier than usual, and he seems like his tummy's hurting him a little bit. He just kind of gets like here and there, he'll just get really fussy and he needs to be held. And if you lay him down, he just starts crying and it's really, really sad. And he doesn't really like that. He is quite a bit of a mama's boy, but he's not usually that bad. So I think something's going on. He's also been fussy at night and he's been waking up a lot. Thankfully, all he really needs is for me to put his binky back. He doesn't need to eat or anything. He'll go right back to sleep. But even so, it's been like five to 10 times a night and that still gets tiring because it does disturb my sleep cycles. But I'm sure he will feel better soon and kind of get back to his old rhythm because he, he is just really consistent with his sleep for the most part. But I think his tummy is hurting him because of just how he's moving and acting and how he seems like it hurts. I think it's his tummy. I actually think he's a little bit constipated because his poops went from kind of regular runny, like breastfed baby poop to more of solid chunks. And at first I thought it was because he was eating more solids because he has been eating quite a bit more solids now. But now coupled with the kind of fussiness, I feel like he's maybe constipated. So I've been giving him stuff to help loosen it up. I gave him some hair sauce the last couple days. I gave him some raisins. I've been making sure that he gets as much breast milk as he wants during the day to keep him hydrated. Hopefully these things will help kind of break it up and let it pass, if that's even what's going on. He also seems to have a little bit of a runny nose. It's not bad at all, but it's definitely more than usual. So just in case he's getting a little bit of a cold or something, I've been making sure to take extra vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc so it'll go through my milk supply and get to him and so he'll get all those vitamins through me. I'm also going to start taking elderberry syrup today. I need to make a batch. If you guys are interested in seeing how to make elderberry syrup, I will link my video on it. But I have also been giving him those little Highlands Baby vitamin C tablets. It's the same brand as the teething pills that I give him. They're just vitamin C tablets, so I've given him a couple of those a day. And so hopefully it'll his immune system will be able to kick whatever this is really quickly, or if he's constipated, it'll pass through really fast. So I'm just doing everything I can for him. I don't think he's teething, he's teething just because he's acting different than his normal teething fussiness. But I feel so bad for him, especially at night, because he needs his sleep too. He's gonna have an even harder time getting better if he's not made enough sleep. Aren't you? He has been rolling over a little bit more, mostly at night. He just doesn't seem to have any interest in rolling over on the living room floor during the day. He really wants a toy over there. He's reaching so hard for it. Is he not the absolute cutest thing in this little half? I cannot even get over it. <laughs> so I know he can roll over. He can roll from his back to his stomach. I don't know which way he goes because I don't ever actually see it. When I put him down for his nap, I'll lay him down and sometimes 
I have to go back in there because he won't fall asleep instantly. Every now and then I will. Normally he goes to sleep the first time. But sometimes I get in there and he's rolled over. So I know he can roll over. I just don't see it happen. And he doesn't like to do it during the day apparently. Or when he's out here, like in light, when people can see him. I don't know why, it's kind of weird. He's getting better at sitting. He definitely can't get there by himself, clearly, because he can barely roll over. But if I sit him up, he's actually really good at staying there. And he loves sitting up. He likes to be sat on the floor or in a high chair and just give him some toys. And he is happy as a clam. He's been eating more food this month, which is kind of exciting, and he's been loving it. He's been eating some egg yolk from our pasture-raised chickens in the backyard. He's been eating some grated raw liver. He eats some banana. Those were the three first foods that I gave both him and my daughter. They're some fabulous first foods. He eats applesauce and pear sauce, raisins. He also likes the little dried plums that I made. If I break them up in tiny pieces, he's able to eat them, and he really likes them. I only give him a few because they can upset his stomach pretty easily. This week, I'm also gonna start him on some broccoli. I had some broccoli in the freezer that I had made as baby food for Sophia and that she never ate, so I have some baby food left over that I need to use that for him. I also want to start him on bone broth soon. I just have been out of it for so long, which is such a bummer. I like to have it for all of us, and he's about the age where he could definitely start drinking bone broth and it would be so good for him. So when we get our quarter of a cow and a whole hog this month, we'll have plenty of bones and he'll be able to start on bone broth. So I'm so excited about that. I'm sure he's accidentally eaten some other things because his sister likes to feed him food. And it's very naughty and also very cute. But she just loves sharing, which, I mean, it's just sweet of her, and she doesn't know she's not supposed to. But I'll come in there, and he'll have a look on his face, and I know that she's fed him something. One time when he was a bit younger, she fed him a bunch of peanuts. Like, half peanuts that are way too big for a baby. <laughs> and he had this look, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's clear out his mouth. <laughs> and he was just had a mouthful of peanuts. But she's fed him a lot of different things, and... I'd like to think that I've gotten there soon enough to get it out of his mouth, at least most of the time, but I actually really don't know, because he's actually very good at eating decently sized chunks of food and not choking, and he can kind of mash them up with the, his 10 little teeth. <laughs> so it could be that she, he's, she's fed him more things that I just haven't seen in time, who knows, but whatever she's fed him, he's done fine with, because he, he hasn't had any reactions to it. And a few weeks ago, he stole some brownies. It was so cute and so naughty. Oh my gosh, it was just, it was so funny. We, I had made a tray of brownies. I, he was sitting in his high chair and I put it on the table plenty far away. I was like, surely he can't reach this. I thought it was plenty far away. Apparently not because we were unloading the car and coming back and forth and I come in the house and he's pulled the brownie tray. He reached super far, as far as he could. And he grabbed the brownies and brought them over and he was just grabbing handfuls and eating them. And he would grab another handful and eat it. And he would just like sit there munching on it. And he was like, so, he loved the brownies, which I don't blame him because they're really good brownies. But he's had brownies as well, which is such a bummer because I try not to let my have, kids have any sugar until at least a year old. My daughter didn't have sugar until she was more like a year and a half. It's just something I really try to avoid. And so, but he's had sugar, but it was only a little bit and he won't have any more, so. It's not the end of the world. But even though he's eating a lot of food now, he still nurses so good. It's still like his absolute favorite. He just loves nursing. He's like not losing interest in it at all. He just looks forward to it so much. And when he thinks it's time to nurse, he gets all sorts of squirmy and clingy. And he just wants to start. He wants to nurse. That's what he's doing right now. He's like trying to squirm into the position. You want to nurse? Oh. But I'm so glad that he loves nursing still. And he, I'm hoping that he can just nurse well past a year, that's really my goal, is a year. And he is just a really big mama's boy. He just loves nursing, he loves being with me, he loves me holding him. And I really, really love breastfeeding. So it just makes me so happy when he does breastfeed and I'm really glad that I've still been able to do it this long. It was around this time that my daughter was pretty much done breastfeeding because I was pregnant with him. And so I'm just really happy to have reached this kind of big milestone with him and be able to continue past it. It just makes me feel good about my body's ability to feed my babies, which is kind of a bringing confidence to me a little bit more, which I like. <laughs> he's getting a lot better at grabbing things with his pincher grasp. He's actually able to, he was actually able to pick up 
raisins this morning with his hand by himself, which was very impressive, and put them in his mouth. So I was I was very impressed with that. But in general, besides this last little fussy stage that he's been having because he's not feeling well, he's just such a happy boy and so content and just so joyful. As soon as you look at him, he just lights up with a big smile and he loves to be tickled on his neck. If I tickle him with my mouth, I'll like blow up raspberries on his neck and he just laughs. This is like his favorite thing. He absolutely loves his sister. Like, she literally can just be sitting there and he'll look at her across the room and just belly laugh because he loves her. It's just the cutest thing ever. Like, she doesn't even have to do anything. Like, man, I wish I had had that kind of power <laughs> because he seems to love her more than he loves me. But it's just so cute what a good relationship they have and how close they're gonna be because they're not they don't have a very big age gap between them. I'm so happy that she's not jealous of him at all. And they'll play this game together where she will hand him a toy and he'll hold, on, he'll hold on to it and she'll like shake it. So his arms will be like kind of flinging around and he just cracks up. He just like does that big belly laugh. He thinks it's the absolute funniest thing. The only thing with it is that she'll think, she'll look at me because he's laughing and she'll like be all proud of herself and she'll wanna come over and tell me so she'll stop. So she, it'll might only happen like once and I try to like get her to go over there and do it again because we both enjoy it so much, but she so most of the time gets distracted pretty soon, but it is really, really cute when it does happen. But anyway, that is pretty much all for a little Dimmy's eight month update. He really needs to go take a nap, so I'm gonna go nurse him and put him to bed. And then I'll make myself a cup of coffee because I'm very tired from these last couple nights of getting up 15 times. Not really, but it feels like it. But thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. <gasps> bye bye. Give me.